after uploading the concept videos on the Zener regulators and uh, unregulated uh, power supply, some of the gate problems in these areas involving the basic uh, fundamentals are being uh, taken up for video solutions. Here uh, we have taken some sample problems and uh, try to see that each problem gives us a, a different concept or different part of the concept in a whole uh, Zener regulators. So uh, the first problem which I have taken up here is the problem uh, of gate 2013 and this problem is on Zener regulator. Although this problem is a very simple uh, problem but it brings out most of the underlying fundamentals related to Zener diode regulators and that is why I have taken it up as my first problem here. So first I will read out the uh, problem here, the subgate 2013 Zener regulators. In the circuit shown uh, below, the knee current of the ideal Zener diode is 10 mA. To maintain 5 volts across RL, the minimum value of RL in ohms and the minimum power rating of the Zener diode in milliwatts respectively are and there are four options given here and we have to find uh, what is the right option. The corresponding circuit is being here, this uh, unregulated uh, supply, uh, ten, 100 ohms is the series resistance and uh, there is a zener diode of uh, 5 volts rating and the value of uh, uh, the output voltage is 5 volts. And uh, uh, we have to find what is the minimum value of the load resistance and the Zener uh, power rating needed for this circuit. Okay, so here given here is the knee current, IZ case 10 mA. Actually knee current is one of the very important parameter for uh, Zener diodes because this is the minimum current needed for the diode to flow to operate in the Zener region. So this has to be, this condition has to be fulfilled or maintained if you want that Zener to operate in Zener region. Now VZ, the output voltage is going to be 5 volts with the Zener voltage. Now um, uh, we can observe here the current IS in this circuit, the current I here, uh, we can find the value of IS and this IS gets divided into two parts some part flow in, flows into the Zener and other part go, goes into the load resistance. So first we will find the value for IS. IS is 10 minus 5. This is 10 volts. This is 5 volts here. 10 minus 5 over 100 ohms. It gives 50 mA. The total current is 50 mA. So this 50 mA part flows into the Zener, part flows into the load resistance. If you want minimum RL uh, would be there when IL is maximum. We want to have minimum RL, so IL has to be, IL will be a maximum for that value. So we can note it down the equation as VRL is equal to IL maximum into R min. And uh, from this, uh, what I get it, I said IS, the series current is the uh, Zena current plus uh, IL maximum, the maximum value of the load current. So we can find the value for IL max, IL max is I minus IZK, so that means uh, total IS is uh, basically uh, 50 minus 10, this is the 40 mA. This is the current which is IL maximum which can flow through RL because 10 mA has to flow through the Zener. So from this equation 1 we can find R min, we can find that is VRL over IL max. VRL is 5 volts at output voltage, IL max which can flow through the load is 40 mA, so this gives a value of 125 ohms, that means the minimum load resistance, resistance has to be 125 ohms, 
Now we have to find the minimum power rating uh, of the zener-diode. Uh, the minimum power rating of a zener-diode, you can find what is the current flowing through the zener and uh, uh, what is uh, voltage. So, Vz is already known to 5 volts, but what is the maximum current that can flow the zener? When the say load resistance is open, infinite load, infinite load, that means whole of the zener current, the current, highest current will flow to zener. That means it will be 50 milliamperes. The 50 milliamperes current will flow through zener, so you can find out 5 into 50 milliamperes, that will give you up to 250 milliwatts. So, the option B here, and this is the option B, that is 125 ohms and 250 milliwatts. This is the right option for this particular problem. It's a really very good problem, it gives most of the concepts involved with the ZN regulators. Thank you.